Today on Toy Shiz, I guess we're all just going to forget that this already happened. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. We're going to be talking all things Mighty Morphin Power Rangers versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures that were announced this week by Hasbro. Yeah, did you know? Boom Studios, Hasbro, they collaborated and made a crossover event starring, yeah, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Shredder, Casey Jones, all your favorite characters. It was interesting. About five issue miniseries, probably gonna do a sequel series, they kinda left it open for that. But it's basically the story of, yeah, Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers exist in the same universe. Tommy Oliver infiltrates the Foot Clan to save a friend, Shredder grabs his Green Ranger powers, Power Rangers lose their powers, TMNT get their powers, and a good time is had by all. Giant Rocksteady Bebop, <laughs> Metalhead, Megazord action. It's every bit as corny as you probably could imagine. But you know what? Stuff like this is actually really fun. And as for mentioned, yeah, this is not the first time the Power Rangers have crossed over with the Ninja Turtles, the next mutation, versus the in space Power Rangers back in the 90s. That was totally a thing and something we all totally hope to forget about. <laughs> that show is terrifying. Ugh, oh my god. Anyways, Batman versus the Ninja Turtles, comic book, cartoon. I wasn't a big fan of the cartoon, but I was a huge fan of the DC Direct action figures that they put out. So, very, very cool. Heck, they even did Batman the Animated Series versus TMNT, Ghostbusters versus TMNT, one of my favorites, Savage Dragon versus the TMNT. But here's one that I'm secretly hoping for. One day, we'll get an action figure. Cerebus versus the TMNT and Rene. Hopefully, we get one. But yeah, Cerebus long overdue for an actual action figure release and speaking of action figures don't even get me started on the original playmates crossovers too many to count i'll tell you that but the ultimate tmnt crossover is when the tmnt crossed over with the tmnt themselves so much tmnt including the prime universe <laughs> is hokey as it was. It was actually pretty good. I actually really like that. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. We're going to talk about all the brand new Boom Studios Mighty Morphin Power Rangers versus the TMNT crossover action figures by Hasbro. So to kick things off this week on Monday, we had the release of the first two pack. That's going to be Leonardo and Donatello. Respectively, Leo is the Blue Ranger, Donatello is the Black Ranger. And in all honesty, I know they're taking the designs from the comic book. Reading the comic book, never had this idea, right? <laughs> when you look at the actual toys, it looks like a 90s swap meet kind of toy. Not in the sense of, I don't think they're well made, I don't think they're well done. It's the very idea of combining Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers. It's like when you'd go and you'd see Batman with like a spider symbol on him. Super awesome team power up kind of thing where you had all these multi packs with <laughs> the Hulk and Batman and Superman. That's what it reminds me of with swap meets back in the day for all those weirdo toys. But in either sense, I like these. I'm a sucker for weird crossovers like this. I think the figures look cool. The price tag on them are going to run you about 54 bucks. And just FYI, I'll have links in the description below if you want any of these. There are four sets so far. We do have a Power Rangers news first Friday thing going on tomorrow. So depending on when you see this, there might be more. I'll put all the links, yada, yada. But yeah, these are going to be a fan channel exclusive, meaning like Entertainment Earth, GameStop, places like that. It's not going to go to like Amazon, Target. That's really what fan channel means. When looking at the initial concept art for the Power Rangers, I was thinking that they're, you know, they're going to be a little bit more stocky-ish kind of thing. By the way, this is like the worst kept secret for making these figures. Everybody's been kind of waiting for them. They were hinted at last year around Toy Fair. So, <laughs> we kind of knew these were coming eventually. Hopefully, right? With everything going on in the world. I like that they went more with the actual comic book art. They have the longer legs. They're more Power Ranger inspired. Yeah, I kind of like the more stocky-ish kind of Ninja Turtle build to them. But Unmasked Leo, Unmasked Dawn, they're okay. You know, the artwork, they're going to have to take liberties. It's really hard to kind of translate that whole kind of style. So they're fine for what they are, to be quite honest with you. I mean, I'm not thinking too much into this. They come with the various weapons. 
effects, everything you'd expect for the Lightning Collection. Also, check out the box art that's done by Strong Stuff, Power Rangers Lightning Collection artist from day one. He kills it. He does amazing artwork. Please check out on Instagram, Twitter, and whatnot. So again, if you want these, 53 bucks, first two pack, morphed Donatello and morphed Leonardo. Moving on to day two, we had morphed Michelangelo and Kimberly. No, just kidding. It's April O'Neil and the Pink Ranger guys. And so Mikey gets like nunchuck daggers or uh, he says like oh, i think my daggers have nunchuck you know what i mean like that kind of thing how's his head fit in that helmet we don't know whatever <laughs> the fact that he's the yellow ranger whatever but again i like the way his nunchucks fit on his belts looks cool he looks like he's having a blast it's kind of like a mikey face yeah it, it works it doesn't work you can decide april as the pink ranger she all of a sudden just goes from reporter to kicking butt why not comes with a camera channel six microphone or whatever she works for in that universe but comes with effects and she gets the bow and arrow and whatnot so again yeah it's a fun pack interesting pack right box art all that cool stuff april neil i don't know she's missing the skirt on that so for those of you that were like oh cool i get another pink ranger up teenth pink ranger she's a little bit different in that sense but in either case again sucker for these things so we'll eventually be grabbing them which leads us to day three a lot of people were like well i wonder what they're gonna put who are they gonna put with uh, Raphael? we know there's gonna be a Raphael if the other three exist right so i was thinking yeah it's probably gonna be a foot soldier i was just thinking a foot soldier but they went the length and we're like hey you know what we're gonna do tommy oliver foot soldier so i mean i wouldn't but you could technically <laughs> army build this if you wanted to it's a little bit expensive but interesting take on the foot soldier right tommy oliver fits the comic Raphael, of course he's gonna be the red ranger Head sculpt on Raphael. Looks like uh, he's about to brush his teeth. I don't know. It's uh, it's okay. But like I said, if you look at the corners of the masks and such, Raphael, I think, fits the best in terms of that particular style. Leonardo, he had more like a rap kind of thing. So a little bit better kept to the comics, I think. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I prefer. But I liked the artist's looks and things. I don't know. Anyways, so again, they all come with effects, and Tommy's got an extra head, and you got the swords and everything else. So, two pack right there. Foot Soldier Tommy morphed Raphael, which, if you're wondering, well, who are they gonna do for the last two pack? Now, nope, it's not gonna be a two pack, it's gonna be a single pack, and it's gonna set you back 33 bucks. And it's going to be the Dragon Zord Shredder, or Green Ranger Shredder, or whatever you want to call him, right? So you can see the artwork right here. The artwork, initial concept, kind of changes throughout the book. At one point, when he first gets the powers and he morphs, he's got white gloves. This one, he's ungloved. I think they went the more concept art route. But the feathered part, or whatever, the more jagged part of the Dragon Shield not quite there on the figure you know what i mean you can tell that they reuse some parts here and there he's he's okay looking like it fits relatively well i just wish that i like it when things are a lot more spot on you know what i mean like it looks like it walked right out it does but you start looking at it up close and you're like okay this is missing this is missing he teams up with rita repulsa they go to dimension x at the end and then oh hey uh, might get a sequel series which i'm sure will happen if they're making figures for this will they make a turtle zord giant bebop rocksteady probably not <laughs> if they do though why not right i mean you're doing all the other power ranger stuff why not do that anyways I am curious to know what you guys think about this TMNT Power Ranger crossover. The figures. Are you going to grab them? Do you need to get them? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything crossovers. What's your favorite TMNT crossover so far? Which one? Which property would you like to see them cross over with? And again, if you need any of these, links in the description below. I recommend Entertainment Earth. It's who I use. Much appreciated. Thanks for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, you know, they got to have like a thing where they yell out all like Mastodon and then T Saber 2 Tiger. And then Michelangelo at the end goes, Cowabunga. And then nothing happens. You know, he just turns into a pizza ranger. Pizza Ranger, that should be a thing, right? No. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.